again. It is Thursday. Uh, and we started the day talking about the first day of the impeachment trial in the Senate. Um, and, you know, they showed in great detail the timeline of, uh, of the events of January 6th, plus everything that Trump had done leading up to that um, to make their case about uh, his inciting the, um, the terrorist attack on the Capitol on the 6th. Um, and they did a, a brilliant job um, quite frankly. And, uh, you know, you start <laughs> as usual, uh, with your personal reaction, um, and how heart-wrenching it is for you. Well, you know what? It's not easy for anybody to watch that shit and have to go through it again. Um, you know, you're not alone. Um, and you know, you always caveat that stuff by saying that same thing. Um, but, uh, you don't need to babble on about, um, you know, how heartbroken you are. Uh, we're all um, traumatized by those events and horrified that uh, the uh, the GOP is going to likely get him, let him get away with it. But um, for some reason, instead of actually talking about the topic at hand, you go off on this soliloquy about reporters and the media um, covering violence all summer, trying to make some sort of equivalence between um, what happened during uh, all of the uh, protests about um, racial injustice uh, to the terrorist attack of the Capitol on the 6th, which is just a completely false comparison. First of all, the, the vast, vast majority of uh, of protesting that went on uh, throughout the summer and throughout the year uh, subsequent to the uh, the murder of George Floyd were entirely peaceful, entirely peaceful. In the instances where there was violence, the vast majority of those instances were instigated either by the police aggressively um, instigating violence against peaceful protesters or B, anarchists that infiltrated the protest with the dis direct um, intent of creating chaos and division. Um, I don't remember any reporter or anyone in the media saying, yay, violence, or any Democrat going, oh, go loot a small business. No one was cheering for that. Um, and those same uh, groups of people that were trying to create chaos and taking advantage of, uh, of um, a very justified uh, act of, um, uh, of protest um, for uh, about calling out racial um, injustice. Those same people who, who, who went in to cause chaos and create havoc and have it blamed on other people are in the same cabal with the people who went to the Capitol on the 6th. All of that whole militia, Proud Boys, uh, you know, white supremacist, Confederate, um, anarchist, that whole crowd, that whole milieu that the Republican Party is courting as their constituents and their, and their base, that whole group um, is the same. Um, so, you know, trying to create a, a, a false equivalence between what happened during the summer and a, a coup attempt at the at the Capitol, I get I get that you know the Republicans are likely to um, acquit, and it's entirely indefensible. So you have nothing to go back on but to try to create some sort of um, moral higher ground about uh, you know this esoteric idea that you're cobbling together that actually isn't even true, um, but. It defies logic, really. Um, and it's a narrative I know it's 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 getting all over. Uh, uh, it's getting a lot of airplay because the the Republican side is is going to push it, and they'll probably use it in the defense of of Trump. Um, but it's a bullshit argument. Um, and I think you know that. And I, 
I get that you're struggling with uh, how to, you know, go forward in a Republican Party um, that you say has no room for you. And clearly, um, it, it isn't inter interested in in you um, and people like you as much as it's interested in uh, uh, feeding its. Uh, <laughs> when Hillary said it, it's deplorable base. Um, then, yeah, I, 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 I get that you've got a problem um, that you need to, to confront on your own. Um, but it doesn't mean that you get the opportunity to uh, baselessly make claims about the other side, um, just so that you can have a point to make um, on TV as an analyst. Um, so, you know, we then talked about um, you know, cyber bullying and uh, you know people being trolls on the internet and, and um, you know yesterday you were talking so hard about wanting to go to dinner and you know today you were talking about people who say things mean things about you on the internet and then are nice to you in person I, I you know what I'll go to dinner with you sure let's have a chat I don't have a problem telling you that um, I I think that your commentary is um, entirely myopic <laughs> on TV. <laughs> Um, but I'd pay to see you and AOC together. Um, I'd rather see you debate than go to dinner, but I'll bet if you went to dinner, I'm sure you'd be all nicey nice and, you know, try to rub some of her actually earned sheen off on yourself. Um, uh, who, <laughs> uh, has been using the Republican Party as a as a grift for her whole career. You know, you talk about how how difficult it is for you as a as a you know died in the wool Republican. I, I looked it up. You weren't even a registered Republican until two thousand eight when your father ran for the presidency, which would have put you at about twenty four, I think, years old. So you had a few years from uh, uh, voter eligibility age that you're an independent. So you haven't been a lifelong de uh, Republican like you claim to be. Um, it seems that you know when you became a Republican when your father ran for president and you started a blog and you figured out you could make money off of being a Republican, that's when you became a dyed in the bull Republican um, and started your grift. I don't even honestly think you believe, you certainly don't believe the platform of the current Republican party, although they didn't even have a, a platform for 2020 because Trump didn't make one. Um, so I don't know what your party is supposed to believe in other than obstructionism and preventing anything good from happen happening for American people um, or the environment. Um, uh, so if um, I lost my point because I'm just so frazzled with you. Anyway, um, oh, not believing the Republican party I, and, and God knows you know, I don't think you've ever really believed in the Republican Party agenda, at least not the one that actually existed, as opposed to the one that you always talk about and, you know, and aggrandize and, and, and rose colored glasses, this, this beautiful, you know, shining beacon on a hill, big tent party that you always talk about that I don't ever remember existing in my lifetime. Um, and I'm older than you are. Uh, I, this is all just part of you. Uh, capitalizing to make money, and then you married someone who um, who was doing the same thing. You're just a couple of little fucking grifters um, taking, you know, moral stances on things that you don't even believe in, and and uh, and spreading misinformation and demonizing the other side, um, which isn't very helpful for unity, which you now you're trying to claim. Um, so I think you're a giant fucking hypocrite, really. And I think is what it comes down to. And, uh, and it doesn't even matter that you wore a nice soft dress with nice soft hair. Um, I still think you're just an asshole. 